Do you like music? Do you like playlists? Do you like awesome music in a playlist chosen by the Book Interrupted members, inspired by the books? Yeah, I thought so. Go to www.bookinterrupted.com to find our cycle song picks. You're welcome. Parental guidance is recommended because this episode has mature topics and strong language. Here are some moments you can look forward to during this episode of Book Interrupted. It's not a water fast. It's based on this guy's, did this work on a fasting mimicking diet. I don't know why. It's great. It's so stupid and I love it. Walter Longo. Oh, yeah, I, I know that listen name. Listen to a Rogan yeah. interview with him. He's yeah. so good. He's good. Yeah. That'd be a lunchbox letdown. If you think you're getting chicken wings. Am I the only one that's cake? Oh, yeah, not, not the chicken, chicken wing. <laughs> yeah. <It's so laughs> gross. Slowly slicing the thing in half. And often it's cake. And you're like, I had no idea that was cake. Like, You ready, guys? Let's do this. Express yourself. Share the wealth. Hold on to your bookmarks. We're off the shelf. Express. It's good for your health. Book Interrupted is off the shelf. (laughs) Welcome to Book Interrupted, a book club for busy people to connect and one that celebrates life's interruptions. Hold on to your bookmarks because Book Interrupted is off the shelf. Ever wonder what we talk about before or after the show? Did you want updates on some of our challenges? Maybe insight into some deleted scenes? Here's your chance. Let's look behind the scenes. And go. Testing, testing. Hello. 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 That should be on one of the funny, all of us going, hello, hello. Hello. Well, what about Unique New York? Wasn't that supposed to be one too? New York. Oh, yeah. Unique. I'm doing another right. fast today. I'm going to do like a nice. fast. Nice. Good for you. Nice. For three months because it made me feel so good. And I'm really worried about the fatigue coming back. <laughs> so Yeah. Who yeah. wouldn't Near be? The, sometimes I'll do a nice Sunday supper, like a family kind of supper. And then don't eat again till Monday night supper. Are you doing that? I'm doing five days. It's not a water fast. It's based on this guy's, did this work on a fasting mimicking diet. And I think I've kind oh, of yeah. matched Ooh. it a little bit. It's five days. The first day you get a little bit more calories, like a thousand calories. Mm -hmm. And then your proportions of fat and carbs and protein have to be within the realm and all plant-based stuff. Mm -hmm. And then on day six, you basically eat a vegetarian Mediterranean diet while you're like regrowing all your cells and stuff. So last time on day three, I all of a sudden had all this energy. I was like, Violet, we're going for a hike. And I did all this stuff. (laughs) Day three just felt so fantastic to the point where like when day six came, I was a little nervous about eating again. Dan was not. He did it with me that time. He was like, I'm going to die. I'm ready. Yeah. What did you eat? Say plant-based and whatever. Like, can you tell me specifically? Yeah. What I'm eating. Or even from the last time or whatever. Yeah. What is the food? (laughs) I've kind of built it around Amy's vegetable soup. Like I can make my own soup, but that canned soup has like the right kind of proportions of, it's just vegetables and whatever. I love it. So you have to avoid things like sugar, but it's lots of nuts and olives. For dinner, I usually have spinach. It's all weighed out. So I've got a spreadsheet that has all the calories and the percentages of fat and protein and Mm -hmm. carbs. So for dinner, I'll have like spinach. And with a tablespoon of olive oil on it and salt and pepper, maybe a little vinegar because mm. vinegar doesn't really have any calories. No. And then for lunch, I have an Amy's vegetable soup and some crackers, like 25 grams of those Mary's organic crackers, right? Yeah. They're, made, they're not made with wheat. They're made with quinoa and rice and stuff and seeds. And then five olives, like green olives. It's not a lot of food, but it's like nuts. And, and then, oh yeah, at dinner, I also have a tablespoon of hummus with either cucumbers or celery and then like as Mm -hmm. much herbal tea as I want and then I do like a greens mix too so I have nutrients like macronutrients yeah yeah this greens powder and stuff oh right 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 right. yeah it's pretty good I have a that doesn't sound like fasting you know what I mean like I was scared that it was like nothing 
Yeah, know? it's not just the water because water fasts are really hard, but this guy's done research because he was trying to help cancer patients be more successful with chemo. So he said that if you mm-hmm. combine this, what happens is cancer cells become more vulnerable to toxins when you starve them and your own cells become more protective. So then people mm-hmm. uh, could have more success in chemo. So he developed this diet because the doctors were like, you want my patient to not eat for five days? No. <laughs> while they're doing chemo? Absolutely mm-hmm. not. And that's kind of where it started. So he's done a lot of clinical studies on MS and autoimmune diseases and diabetes and all other stuff. So yeah, he's like, if you're healthy, doing it like twice a year, every three or four months, it's mm-hmm. good for like rejuvenating your cells. Cause after you have like high stem cell proliferation and then you grow new healthy cells. So that's why it's good for like autoimmune stuff is that he's seen good results. And he starts with small organisms like yeast and he's worked his way up to like mice and then humans. And so he's cool. he does different. Yeah. He's looking at like, the what's his name? Uh, Dr. Walter with a V Walter Longo. Oh, yeah, I, I know that listen name. to a Rogan yeah. interview with him. He's yeah. so good. He's good. Yeah. 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 He helps you. He gives you like the equation or the formula to figure out how many grams of plant protein, how many grams of fats so that you're in your certain ratios for your macros, I think it is. So essentially what you're doing with this kind of diet is you're tricking your body into thinking that you are starving. So that you kind of go into ketosis, but it also starts autophagy. Your body starts mm-hmm. consuming damaged parts of your cells and damaged cells. Nice. And then when you grow back, because it's from stem cells, it's supposed to be healthier cells and stuff. Hmm. Yeah. Well, so I hook thought us that up, like, girl, send sorry, us sir. the I'm going uh, off topic. But yeah, that's your what uh, name needs to change. Oh, it just says rename. Oh, rename. Oh, hi, rename. rename. Hello. Welcome. Well, that's better than joining the al- alternative, I guess. I almost wrote Sarah. <laughs> Was word Sarah and I was like, and Sarah. that would have been funny. It should be renamed. It should be Sarah. Sarah. <laughs> you have to take a different name. <laughs> we already have a Sarah. <laughs> hey, we had two Lindsays. And that was okay. So it's true. It's true. Yeah, we got sure. through that, didn't we? We got through that. Wow. I know we thought it was going to be a thing, and it was not at all. It wasn't really? on any level. We uh, yet again went above and beyond. That makes me think of early before we started, we were like, okay, how are we going to make sure everyone contributes and people can talk when they want to talk? We had all these like, people can try this or this, and then it's just fine. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. We're like, how are we going to manage six people talking at once? And the answer is we just all talk at once. That's just what we do. And (laughs) And Sarah Sarah just edits it. (laughs) It's everyone separately. Sarah, Sarah, you're the solution. Uh, We're the problem. That's (laughs) such a sweet (laughs) book interrupted. This interruption is brought to you by Unpublished. Do you want to know more about the members and Book Interrupted? Go behind the scenes? Visit our website at www.bookinterrupted.com. Today's interruption is about getting back to reality. Oh my goodness, what is it about going away on vacation, which is so lovely and nice, but coming home to... (laughs) A chaotic mess, a chaotic mess called reality. This is my life. Oh man, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's the struggle to adapt back to the world of the living that runs on clock time and calendar time, or if it's looking at all the messages and all the work that is piled up. The laundry I seem to be able to handle. No problems there. It's all the other stuff that has to do with my interests and hobbies and school and work life and (laughs) not being able to decide where to start. Just freaking choose a place. (laughs) And yet I find myself stalling. Oh gosh, I don't know what that's about, but it's like I just see the millions, millions, okay, maybe hundreds or just shy of 100. (laughs) All those messages trying to figure out a way to prioritize them and who do I get to back and what makes most sense and what message is connected to another message. It's like a big messy ball of yarn and I'm just caught up in A, believing that it's some type of race, which it isn't, and then just feeling really, really bad that I took time for myself and now I have these people to get back to as if I'm so important. It's not that. I just don't like keeping people waiting. They've been waiting for answers. And jerkazoid me didn't put an out-of-office message on. 
So anyways, I will be going through my pile of guilt and shame and anxiety. (laughs) And I know by the end of the week, everything will be back on track. And this will be but a distant memory. But until then, if anyone wants to lend their services to helping me, I'm looking for a secretary. (laughs) Please, any type of admin assistance would be greatly appreciated to help my sanity. All right. Take care, everyone, and I hope for any of you who are taking a vacation, I hope it's just peace and harmony when you get back to reality. Book interrupted. Maybe we will do one more. So, Kim, you put that cake. People make weird things out of cakes. That cake's not... Isn't that crazy? So after you posted that thing, so people make... Is it cake? It's like a Netflix thing. Yeah. 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 So I, after you did that, I, my kids showed me on YouTube that this this big thing. Like someone was like, "Oh, right, start over, making a cake." So what it is is like. So it's like a big new thing where people make cakes that look like other things, like a remote control or a fucking coffee cup or a book. Or a fucking coffee cup. There's a whole show on Netflix <laughs> called "Is It Cake?" And like professional bakers get together, and you have to be like. Is it cake? And the way that they reveal it is by like slowly slicing the thing in half. And often it's cake. And you're like, I had no idea that was cake. Like, I love that show. I've watched that show too. It's just amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> is it cake? Well, I don't know why. It's great. It's so stupid and I love it. How many cakes do you have to make to be able to make a cake look that good? You know what I mean? Like these people must mm-hmm. be baking all the time. These people are artists. Because they're shading, like, you know, like, did I also share that one with that lady that was painting her body and like her leg looks like a sushi roll or her leg looks like a chopped up tomato. So it's like just some really great special effecty type makeup, just illusions. You can paint something to make it look. Yeah. Like you could paint a floor to make it look like it has a giant pit in it. And like, can I step here? Yeah. Is it a giant pit? Yeah, exactly. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. My kids showed me one where this woman was giving her husband hot wings for he was watching a football game or something and he grabs the hot wings and went to grab it and it was cake <laughs> i like that it's a good prank <laughs> and he was like ha it's <laughs> also good to eat <laughs> and he's like smelling it and my daughter was like yeah it's a big thing everyone makes things out of cake and she was showing me a bunch of different things anyway i never knew about it until you posted that so that was pretty good cool. yeah it's just bizarre to me like it's just so weird <laughs> That'd be a lunchbox letdown. If you think you're getting chicken wings, you get cake. Ah, yeah, I it agree. all depends. I prefer the wings. Yeah. I'd like the cake. <laughs> yeah, let's say now. Do you want cake or wings? I'd rather have wings. I don't wings. like cake. Hot wings. It depends on the day. It's like if I see wings, then my saliva is already getting ready for wings. <laughs> we don't want to disappoint the saliva. I can't change course <laughs> at that point. Am I the only one that's cake? I think I'll go cake. I would normally say cake. I'm a sweet over savory, but lately mm-hmm. I've been really craving hot wings dipped in yeah, cream cheese yeah. or ranch. Like I haven't had that in so long. I don't think I like wings. I don't like ranch. I just had for the first time non breaded wings. I was like, why don't people just make yes. the wings this way no. all the time? They're freaking awesome. Yeah, it's all Do I want. Do you make wings at home, Kara? Do you not make wings at home? No, I haven't much really. We do have an air fryer, but it's really good. It's a mini air fryer. So I know that's the the next level up, then for sure. We just do it in the oven. Yeah, Josh does it in the oven too. And it's, you can't even tell. Like, it's just all good. I actually prefer it in the oven. Because okay. it like renders down all the fat. You know how sometimes when you eat wings, like the drumsticks, and there's that like squishy bit of fat? Yeah, I want it like, crispy. Yeah, like it kind of renders all that down. I like it in the oven better. Yeah. Although Sarah yeah. loves the, what's it called? The grizzle. Mm-hmm. The fat? <laughs> the fat. Like that, but the soft fat? It. The soft fat. Oh. No, that's for steaks. You know the grizzle on a steak? Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Is it, sure. So it's only to the steak. I love it. Oh, yeah, but not, not the chicken, chicken wing. Oh, yeah. It's so <laughs> gross. <laughs> Thank God we clarified this. I just like you. My kids will eat the end of the bone. Nom, 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 yeah, nom, the nom, cartilage. No. no, like the bone. They eat huh? the bone. <laughs> like the ends. Oh. They love it. Hmm. Nom, nom, nom. Especially when they're really young. And I was like, I think this is okay. Is it okay for the people? I'm going to do a teething. Check. Yeah. 
My husband has the best wing recipe. That was his thing when we lived in Canada with like this Ethiopian type spice. You know, what is it called again? Mary, you know what it's called. Mary Tell us. Bear bear. Or Berber. Bear bear. Oh, yeah. Bear, Berber. Bear, bear. Bear, bear. Bear, bear. They call it Berberry. Okay, hey, what's yeah, the rub? Makes, what they call it. And he would put that on, rub that on with lots of lime and garlic. And it's so good. Mm-hmm. Our Thank first you. Valentine's Day, he made it for me. And that was it. Done. Chicken wings of Chicken love. Chicken wings on Valentine's Day. Yeah, so I pick wings. Guys, I have to sign out because I got a dog that's going to piss in the house if I don't. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Can I go too? I'm a, I'm a girl that's going to piss in the house. <laughs> All right. We're right, done. Right. We'll see you the next done. one. Ginny, are you coming to the next one? <laughs> yes. 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 Yay. All right. Okay, cool. So okay. that's it. Great. See you soon, we'll peeps. See you, see you hey. soon. Bye. See okay. y'all. Bye. And for all. Thank you for joining us on this episode of Book Interrupted. If you'd like to see the video highlights from this episode, please go to our YouTube channel, Book Interrupted. You can also find our videos on www.bookinterrupted.com. Hi, this is Leah from Book Interrupted. Thanks for listening to this episode. If you'd like to learn more about us, the Book Interrupted members, or check out our swag, or anything at all, go to www.bookinterrupted.com. We'd love to get to know you, and you could even be a guest and choose one of the books in our book cycle. So please check us out and keep listening. Book Interrupted. Never forget, every child matters.